Matt Youngman, M-A-T-T. They call it the Super Bowl of Agriculture here at the Farm Progress Show in Decatur. As we've mentioned, the weather couldn't be more perfect to check out the equipment and uh, all the different folks who are exhibiting throughout the space. Exactly. And joining us now is Matt Youngman, who's the show director. Could you have asked for better weather? No, this is, I couldn't prescribe it any better than this. This is exactly what you would hope for an outdoor event. Exactly, because I'm having flashbacks to two years ago when we were kind of sweating our buns yeah, off. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. And, and the crowd is actually hanging on way better because they're not as worn out from the heat. I bet. I was going to ask if the weather directly impacts how, not only the number of people who show up, but the amount of money they spend and time they spend here. The time they spend here, the the number of EMS calls, because we don't have as much fatigue in, in the visitors, and, and just generally, you know, no, not as much dehydration. So, you know, it's it's just a it's a lot more pleasant environment, and, and fo so folks stick around longer, which is great. And what are they sticking around to check out? What's well, going on? It's, it's kind of the Detroit Auto Show of farming. So, you know, anybody who has anything new for the ag industry is going to un unveil it here. You know, there are global introductions that happen Tuesday at 8 o'clock, new tractors, new equipment, new technologies. A lot of things are based in a in a iPad, in a, in a tractor cab, and so folks just uh, hitting all 90 acres of exhibits to check everything out. Now, you uh, see all this stuff all the time, so I'm sure it's maybe hard to find some of your favorites, but do you have anything that stands out that you go, man, this is so cool. If you come, you have to check this out. So uh, the autonomous tractor is is cool, a driverless tractor that we have running out there in the field demonstrations. We did our own safety tests on it, and I personally walked out in front of a driverless tractor that was coming at me, and the radar saw me and slowed itself down, took a picture of it, sent the picture to the cab of the combine and said, should I drive over this <laughs> obstacle or stop? And fortunately, he hit stop, and, and so it didn't run over me. Good news wow. for you. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly right. 66th uh, Farm Progress Show. Next year is going to be back in Iowa. So uh, how has this city grown and evolved over the 66 past years? There have been a lot of great things that have happened since we went to the site that we didn't, we, we, we went to the permanent sites that we didn't necessarily expect. You know, we have a lot more international visitation because it takes a lot of time to get an international visit put together. So if you want to bring 60 Brazilians up to the show, it's good for them to know that the 2021 show will be here, the 2023 show, and they can start making plans for those kind of trips. So, you know, between that and the product unveilings that have really become focused on the show, uh, a lot of great things have happened since we went to these permanent facilities. Speaking of making visits, tomorrow is the final day, uh, but still lots of good reasons for people to come. It's not a, it's slightly abbreviated, I suppose, yep. but every bit as uh, good as uh, the other days. So. so instead of closing at four, uh, five o'clock, like we have the last couple days, we'll close at four to get our exhibitors a little jump start on going home to their families for Labor Day. But it's the same Farm Progress show that we've had for the last two days. Same, same demonstration, same schedule, all the horse training, you know, the autonomous tractors, ride and drives, getting the cab of a pickup and drive it around um, and you know usually of our total attendance only about 15 percent of them come on thursday so it's really easy to get around here and uh, maybe even pick up a bargain here and there at the yeah. end there's things they don't want to truck home and hopefully they can still grab some swag because you got to have swag when you come to the farm progress they, show they don't want to they don't want to truck any of that swag <laughs> home either so come, no. come can you, get, can all you that. get us a bucket we've been looking for buckets all week long there's one right down the road there, yeah, right. right there <laughs> there are so many big names that yeah. come here to the farm progress show from nascar drivers to bull riders like Tim met earlier. And then tonight, Easton Corbin's going to be here before the big movie trailer. That's yep. exciting. It, it is exciting. It's, you know, when you have this many voters in one place, politicians are sure to follow. Oh, yeah. But, you know, you get celebrities. You got, uh, you had Secretary Purdue, Secretary of Agriculture Purdue, and Donald Trump, President Trump called him when he was on stage. And so we had a little oh, bit of a talk from, from Donald Trump this afternoon. So, yeah, you know, they, they kind of come from every angle. The NASCAR drivers, whatever you're into, there's some, yeah. there's some cool stuff for any motorhead here well we appreciate your time and for the great weather thank you yeah. i know that was completely in your control yeah, so I, I get credit for the bad with stuff yes. so i'll take credit all for right stuff. we'll sounds see good. you again in, in another year or two how Very about good. that thank you sounds good <laughs> all the details about the farm progress show and our adventures while we're here are at our website ciliving.tv let's check in now with aaron